Hi YouTubers and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Right, I wasn't going to film anything today. First of all, new coffee. Yeah, I'm not going to film much today. I um, might to pop to a property and sort some bits out. Um, that has annoyed me. So I wasn't going to do much today. I was going to have a little quiet evening at home. But I thought I'd just um, mannequin in the background there. Excuse the mannequin. That's a long story. Anyway, today I'm going to be messing about with a, with a mag burner. Um, and showing you a little flip I've done. Or I will be doing. Stay tuned. Right guys, um, so this Rally Mark II um, mag burner, Simplex mags, I'm going to be messing about with this for a little while, giving you my thoughts on its history, because you see so many of these bikes um, for sale at some point, and you always wonder who owned it, what sort of life did it have? Now thankfully this is a one owner mag burner simplex mag burner ready mag burner mark two it's a one owner and i know the person who brought it and i know where they got it from so from that basis i can almost have my opinion because i had one as a kid so i'll do a little bit on that but also i've got this handlebar with an ITM stem. Stem bolts. These lovely grips. Handlebar grips. Now, can you see that? It's called a Platishi Cesaro grip. Not hugely valuable. About 10 pounds but they are correct to the bike anyway so this came with a BMX I bought for about 70 quid I sold on the frame by itself for I think 50 it also came with a spare set of mag wheels which I flogged on for 30 pound I think it was so that's my money back. Um, and the profit I see is the stem. There's a set of wheels and tyres there, which are a bit knackered. At some point, they'll come in handy. Um, and also, it came with a seat, which is on the red Mark I burner. But what's happened today is that I put this on eBay right now, 32 99 it's still on ebay 32.99 as a complete lot everything in place still but i looked at it earlier on i thought to myself i could do something with that not sure what but i could do something with it so what i've done is hang on coffee is i took off the stem those bolts were buggers to get off I moaned about the bolt on the um, front wheel of the Skyway Tough, but these were sods, but I persevered and got them off. Um, but I'll be cleaning off this rust and probably setting each part individually, because I see these grips, 15 quid. I see the stem. What guys do it in? £30? £30 for stem, I think's fair. And the bars, 20 quid. Yeah, so 20, 50, 65, 70. 70 quid, all that lot. Anyway, let's get this rust cleaned off. Right, guys, so we've got the bars in the vise. You have to excuse the random bits behind, or well, in front of me, behind me, I don't know. But anyway, we've got these in the vise. I'm going to do a little area. And then finish it off off camera and show you results. Oh, but well, let's try and get a set up properly. Hang on. Yeah. 
that we're getting there. All right, let's force a bit. I'll come back in a tick. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. It needs a good half hour working it, but I've done some bit here, and there's a good basis for like a re chrome or a rat set of rat bars. Lovely. Right, guys, we're back over near the bike. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that'll come up all right. It's Got a nice bit of pit in there, but it will be okay once I get all that off. That was where the stem was, and this is where an original pad set was along here. The grips are there, so you can see how good the chrome work is. Just when it gets to here, there's a surface corrosion. This here is where I started to use a drill, a drill brush around here so it has potential and this is here where I've done it off camera use a bit of auto sole as always um, yeah I think that'll be all right right let's move on to the stem I think that could look nice right let's put some auto sole on it Yeah, guys, thanks so much for the support. Um, I've now got 24, yeah, 24 subscribers. I didn't think I'll get 10. So um, I know there's better stuff to watch online, other bike channels, BMXs and that sort of thing, but I can only do what I can do, and I'm still learning myself. Um, I've never been good at, with a screwdriver or a spanner. Um, so when I, when I do take things apart or things off, it's all new to me as well, but it's all about learning, isn't it? Um, right, thoughts on that coming up in a, in a minute. Let's just quickly give us a little clean up and we'll come back in a tick. Right, that there, believe it or not, is the dirt from the top of that stem. Yeah, normally you see SR stems, um, Polygon, obviously the Suntour stems, which are worth a lot of money. Why worth 120 quid, 100 quid each? But ITM, never heard of them before. There's a good bit of shine on that top of that stem. So, yeah, I've got a spare stem if I need it. Um, obviously, the stem bolts there and a spare set of grips. Right, over there, I picked up a Challenge racing bike. Um, it's got some really cool bits in it. So I managed to salvage from that a couple of the older RR um, 290 reflectors, burner reflectors. They're always handy to have kicking about. Um, yeah, a few bits in that. Um, I managed to salvage a seat post from an old bike I picked up last week. Um, and with that came various parts I managed to take off, seat clamps, we got a stand for a rally, which is quite cool, that might fit on a burner, yeah, could do that, um, yeah, so our old channel was basically about making money from old bikes, isn't it, this old channel, um, anyway, so my thoughts on the mag, right, 
those are original ready brake blocks really really good depth on them as well really good depth the fact that that tire has no major marks on it black marks my theory is that I don't know. Yeah. And the fact that this one's got loads of black marks on the front. And that tyre depth is alright. To be fair, it's not too bad. But this tyre depth is completely shot. And you've got some really bad splitting on this tyre as well. So this tyre's knackered. Um, my theory is that... So one owner, that I do know. Um, and... The front wheel was mainly used for stopping. The back wheel was used for skidding. And it got shot and burnt out very quickly. Then just left in the barn and forgotten about. And it sat for about 25, 30 years. Yeah, nice old bike. Um, I've ordered new tyres for this. Separately two new tyres for the tough. They'll go on. I'm going to do Christmas video, I think. Um, boxing day or day after um, I've ordered a bike stand so we'll have a bike stand proper maintenance stand I've ordered one of them I'll get it on the, on the bike stand and then strip what I can on this clean it up and just do a nice little video on it and then it'll be good to go quick to sell original frame pads there that was missing along the top um, original pads anyway guys I'm going to finish off now um yeah finish off now my yeah that's it finish off my coffee and um hopefully you you order a good weekend i'll see you soon on the next one thanks for watching take care